Have you ever thought about Minecraft needing a bit more of the Christmassy spirit? Well then, today's video is perfect for you. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the Snowy Spirits mod, which adds a lot of winter themed items. So not only Christmas enjoyers, but also just winter enjoyers can play with this mod. So that's actually pretty nice. So let's go into this gingerbread house right here. It looks really cute. And it has this little button right here that opens the door. And now we're inside. And we're going to be starting on the left side of this house and going all the way through all of these chests. And ending off with the secret chest, which has some really fun item inside. But that's for the end of the video. Um, let's start off with the glow lights. As you can see right here, we have some glow lights in all different colors. And we're going to be taking them all out. And first of all, we are going to look at the crafting recipe, which is going to be glowstone dust, an amethyst shard and a string, and then the color that you want. But as you might have seen, we also have glow lights in all colors, which is going to use diamonds instead of a color of dye. And you might ask, what should I do with these glow lights? And the answer is simple. This mod doesn't add Christmas trees, but gives you the ability to turn your normal tree into a Christmas tree. By right clicking on any sort of leaves, you will actually be able to spice up your tree with little Christmas lights, which is really cool. And we have all sorts of colors. Any color that you can imagine, we have, which is really cool. And it has this little particle effect, which I really like. It really gives it some life. And yeah, I'm just a big fan of it. So you can just right click and they even give off some light, which I really like, but it won't actually um, melt the snow, which is also a really fun feature. So the first feature, glow lights, that was about it. It's just something to liven up your Minecraft trees with, which is a really cool feature. The next feature we have is the redstone gumdrop. It's actually not really called that, but yeah, it's actually just a reskin of the button. And we all, well, we actually already have a white gumdrop as the button for the door right here. Um, the gumdrop can be made by putting sugar and a dye in your crafting table. So it's actually like, actually a way to get cheap buttons. <laughs> um, and yeah, you can use them in all different colors and they will just work as a button. And I think when you walk over them, they're also a pressure plate. So it's a button and a pressure plate in one, which is actually really cool. I haven't seen that um, in vanilla Minecraft or in any mod yet. So it's pretty cool. All colors and just really, it's just a reskin of the button. Then for the third chest in this little lineup, we have the new decorations. But um, what I want to go over first is actually this gingerbread house. Um, we have three new blocks and um, stairs and slabs. Um, the gingerbread is made out of three pieces of ginger and a hay, ba a hay bale or a ginger and three pieces of wheat around it, um, which will give you the gingerbread block. Um, we also have frosted gingerbread, which is just a gingerbread block next to some sugar. And then you get these nice looking gingerbread well blocks but those aren't all the decorations we also have a snow globe a new music disc and i am not gonna pronounce that a wrath a wreath <laughs> it's actually hanging right here um it's just a really nice decoration and the snow globe is just something to put on your counter and yeah it's just really cute the snow globe is made out of a piece of well a block of glass and a smooth stone slab and a wreath is made out of four leaves any sort will do and you'll get a wreath um the new music disc um i've tried it before and it doesn't really work as you can see right now so it actually just plays a little bit of a song and then it just stops but the part of the song that I did here, I did really like. So maybe if the mod creator is watching this, you could um, fix that. And then this mod would be complete and be just perfect. Um, 
We also have some new food. Um, as I mentioned before, you actually have the gingerbread blocks and it's made with actual ginger. It's a new, like, I actually don't really know if you can plant this. I'm going to try that real quick. Okay, so ginger can't actually be planted. So I don't know how that would actually work then. Okay, so yeah, I actually did some research. You'll actually find wild ginger around your world and it will drop the ginger flower and the ginger like new food, even though you can't really eat it. So it's only used in crafting recipes and it's used in gingerbread cookies, which is really cute. You actually just need a block of gingerbread or some frosted gingerbread and some gumdrop to make the gingerbread cookie, which actually changes texture um, when you have multiple of them, as you can see. But this is a new food and can be eaten and can just be given to your friends if you just want to like kind of give like a Christmas presents, which is, well, pretty cute. We also have the candy cane, which can be made from the candy cane block. Um, yeah, I actually forgot to show you guys the candy cane block. It's right here. The candy cane block is made out of four candy cane and the candy cane is made out of sugar and honeycomb. And yeah, then you'll get this. Actually, I really like this block. It's actually a really good looking block in my opinion. And I just really like it. So I should have explained that with the decoration um, part. But that's how you get candy cane. It can also be eaten. Then we also have eggnog, which you can actually drink. Um, it doesn't give you any like status effects. And it's made from ginger, a glass bottle, an egg and um, some milk which sounds, in my opinion, really disgusting. But now for the final feature and probably the reason why you clicked on this video, the sled, which, oh my God, look at this. The model is so beautiful. Um, it can actually go on snow, as you can see, and you can go down slopes, but also up the slopes, which is really cool. And because I wanted to show you guys the features of the sled i actually built a little like can i call it a roller coaster <laughs> um right here wow i'm actually first i'm going to show you guys the crafting recipe four sticks and two planks um any type will work i don't know why it's raining is it raining over here yes it's raining over here okay um that's a little bit annoying but um Going onto the sled and going onto ice, you can actually go mega fast. So let's go three, two, one. Okay, we're going up the slope and going down here. Oh, oh, oh. And we landed. As you can see, the sled is really slow on any other block than snow or ice. So this isn't really a good transportation mode for um, normal Minecraft, but for on ice and on snow it's actually a really fun alternative to boats but guys that's gonna be it for today's video i thank you all so much for watching if you liked oh okay guys i fell into a ravine but that doesn't really matter um what i was saying is be sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos like these from me don't forget to join the giveaway it's still going um you still have until um wednesday and then the giveaway is over. So if you want like an extra Christmas present, um, be sure to join the giveaway. It's for PC and for console. So be sure to enter. Um, I thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, until the next video, bye bye.